Hey everybody, welcome back to another Design Coffee Break. I'm Lisa from Post to My Wall and I will be your coach today. So as you come in, please say hi in the comments, let us know where you're watching from um, and let me know, let, let Laundry and I know, we're both here with you today. Um, have you tried our new photo and video slideshow tool? And if you have, how did you like it? So today we're gonna share something new that we are really excited about. Um, the new animated slideshow tool, it is a game changer. You can basically turn your entire design or a piece of it into an animated slideshow or run several slideshows. Uh, and depending on how you set it up, it really looks like you're creating a mini video within your design or as your design. So let me show you what that looks like. And uh, there may be audio with this, so if it's loud, I apologize. Here we go. Okay, no audio with this one, but you know you can see it. Just it really is a great way to tell your brand story. Um, you can do animate the text, animate the images. You can also do it with still slides. Anything you need to do. This really makes it so that anyone can create professional quality video content all by themselves, very very quickly, very very easily. So as you can tell, I've been having a lot of fun playing with this, um, and I think you will too. So I am here in Atlanta, Georgia. Audrey is in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I will, today we're gonna go through, first I'm gonna go through some other sample to show you what the capabilities of this tool are. And then I'm gonna show you how to add a slideshow to any design. Um, couple of housekeeping things. First of all, the bonus content. At the uh, end of the presentation, stick around. We're gonna share a link that will take you to some bonus content, which includes links to the templates that we've shared here. And if you wanna go and reverse engineer them um, or use them and you know, just change out the graphics and the images and make them your own, that's what we want you to do. If you have any friends that you think might benefit from this, please do share. And again, the video will remain here on Facebook indefinitely. So if you want to come back and watch later, you can do that. Audrey, do we have any other shout outs before we dive in? We have quite a few people logging in, New York, Florida, Boston. Some are just excited to get started and to learn about the new feature. Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna show you a few examples, as I promised. Uh, this is a very simple one. Uh, it, basically, you can do it. This one really is kind of a slideshow. And note that there is a combination of photo images and videos. You know, so it's a great way to show your promotions, show what's new. Um, you can add your own. Of course, you can always use your own video and photos. So this is just a, you know, a wonderful, fun, simple way to advertise your specials or your sales. Uh, the slideshow can cover, as you can see, this is a big portion of the design. You can also use it in conjunction with our schedule maker or the menu maker. So you know, if you have a bar, you know, you've always been able to do this, but now you can do this. Um, you know, it's just just so much more interesting because the pictures just keep changing. Um, it also makes, of course, great. This is formatted for digital signage. Makes great digital signage content, and these work for any any business. You know, if you're doing if you're a spa, if you do auto repair, absolutely anything. Um, you know. It just makes it so much more eye-catching than if you had just still images or even a single video. I mean, just think like if you use this on your social media feed, you're gonna get attention. Now, this one, I'm gonna show you a final one. I warn you, it has audio, it is loud, and this shows the full capability of making the uh, slideshow be the entire, entire screen or the entire design and really telling the story. Audrey, you said you have a, somebody has a question. 
Yes, and I know you're going to go over this uh, when you demonstrate how to how to put this together, but we did have a question from Edwin and he's just wondering how many pics and videos can you include? Is there a max? Is there a minimum? Ooh, I don't know what the max is. Um, I, we will respond to you after, after the class. We will, we will find out what that is. Um, I know I have played around with as much as six or seven different elements at once and that has, and that has worked fine. Um, but we will get you a definitive answer. That's a good one. I should have known that. I apologize. Um, all right, so I've shown you some templates and now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use this feature. All right, so I have picked out a template. So we just basically, it's a, you know, if you were a bakery, say you were a bakery and you were getting ready for the holidays and you wanted to do something on social media, um, or I formatted this one for, uh, for Reels or for TikTok. So we just got a little bit of copy at the top. We know you're busy, so let us bake it for you. And you wanted to jazz it up a little. So all you have to do is go over here, click Media, Add Slideshow, and then pick a stock video. And let's see, Holiday Cookies. and pick a video and add it to the slideshow. Now I'm actually gonna turn this sideways. I'm gonna rotate it to get to the vertical format. I'm gonna get rid of what was there. And we'll just make this bigger, put it into place and move it backward. And we'll go ahead and I'm going to make a border around the logo here just, just so that that shows up a little better. All right, so you can see we have got a single slide slideshow. So then to add more images, you just come over here and now you can add, you can add either the next slide can either be text, a still photo, or another video. So say I wanted to add that photo I that photo I just had, I'd add a stock photo and go back to holiday cookies. And there it is. And I click add photo and you can see it automatically added it to my slideshow. I'm gonna add another one. Okay, I'm gonna do dripping the icing. That's a good one too. And maybe we'll do a fourth one. Right, so we'll do the ingredients panel. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is go in and just change the durations. You know, when you click on each slide here, it's like a one, two, you're activating which slide. Um, and you can see the full video is 29 seconds and you do not want 29 seconds probably, or you might. So, but I'm just gonna put everything on for three seconds. Right. And then I'm going to just test it out here. Push play. Okay, and then I'm clicking on it again to bring it up. If you wanted to change the order, say you wanted the cookie cutters, you just drag them around to change the order. If you decide that you don't want to slide, you can just click on it and click the little garbage can and it goes away. And really, that is it. Um, now, once you've got your slideshow in there, what you might want to do is do a transition. Right now, this is on fade. I'll do it again so you see how they fade out between. And so if you come here, you can play with all these other things. Um, you know, we could do wipe. And we're gonna go do my favorite one now, which is shrink. And you can of course speed these up and slow them down. Here we go. Now 
And you can see it's that easy and you've made a video that can pretty much tell any story. And of course, if you, you, know, if you want some text in between, we'll add a text just for fun. Um, you know, if, I, if you add a text slide, uh, so there we go. I wanna drag it up. So maybe we'll just type in best ever. Now, because I turned it sideways, my copy is sideways. So that is not ideal, but this is just to give you an idea of what that would look like if you added some text in. Um, I'm gonna make that white so it shows up better. And I can of course make that bigger and smaller. Again, if I go back, push play. So that is really, really a lot of fun. Now all you have to do is save it and you can uh, download, send it out to your digital signage or of course publish. And if you haven't seen yet, you need to go into our publishing tools. You can now publish or pre-schedule direct to your Instagram business page. So check that out. We're gonna do a class on that in two weeks, but check it out. It is a big time saver. Um, all right, Audrey, any other questions? We don't have too many questions. We have a lot of excitement for this feature. You know, one of our users did ask what the video um, duration was. And correct me if I'm wrong, I know you can do up to a total of 10 minutes of video, but your slides themselves, you can set the, the duration separately from an overall video length, right? Yes, you set each side's duration and they don't have to all be the same. So if you wanted something to, you know, if you wanted something to be, um, for three seconds and then you wanted something else to like you could do a star that just came up for one second and you know with the fade and then you could go to another video for three seconds um, you can mix it up any way you like mm -hmm. especially if you're shooting your own video you may have certain things that you want to show and they may all end up being different lengths and and that's fine perfect oh all right. actually sorry lisa there's actually <laughs> another question um is this for all users or just sub subscribers? And if so, what type of credits do these people, do these customers have to use? Okay. So the way it works is um, these count as video downloads. So if you are, if you are a premium user and well, if you're, if you're doing it and you're just using still photos or you're using your own photos or videos and you're, and you're premium, um, then you're then you're then you're covered. But if you want to use the stock videos, then that's premium plus, or you just got to use the credits. I, it's the same amount of credits as it is to, just to download a video. It isn't anything additional. Um, and even if you add the stock audio to it, which you could also do, um, once you've paid for the one upgrade, you don't have to pay per video. You just pay. You know, the, the Audrey is it three credits? Is that correct? Correct, three credits. Yeah, so for, for three credits, you get all the all the stock videos you want, plus um, clip art and publish to Instagram and uh, anything else you could possibly need. Anything else? We're good. Nope, we're good. All right, so next, the bonus content. Uh, Audrey's gonna post that link in the comments, but you can see we have download to the before template I used and the after template. And then we got a bunch of other templates for you, uh, ones that, you know, ones that we didn't show you today, all different templates to get you started creating. You can see here some for, for bands. And this is this one's just great because you've got the schedule of which acts are coming up at the venue, and then you've got the video of each, you know, of each of the uh, of each of the performers. We also have some digital signage size for you. Um, this one's great we have with Pepe's because you, you can you know, change it for any kind of uh, anything, but then you've got the photos that change of the different special dishes. Uh, got you know, specials of the day for a restaurant and the hamburger one's fun. You should click on it just to see it. And we've got some other classes that you like. So I hope that's helpful to you. And of course, as usual, we have our promo code design break. That's good for 30% off if you are a new subscriber or if you are upgrading from pay as you go to premium or upgrading from premium to premium plus. 
it's a it's a great deal. Hope you take advantage of it. Um, that's good for the first 200 people and it's only good until November 1st. Our next class, which is gonna be next Wednesday, October 27th, also at 1230 Eastern Daylight Time is called Promote Your Event Like a Pro. This is for people who want to create a comprehensive marketing plan for their event. Our guest presenter is gonna be Shante Gamble, who is an entrepreneur and a radio host and an event producer. She creates a great event every year called Women Empowering Change, and she is going to show you the process she uses to create her marketing plan and her graphic assets for that conference. And she's also got a workbook, some great freebies for you. So please do join us next week. So, Laundry, anything else? We are good to go. I think people are excited to really start using this. We have someone who wanted to use this specifically for today. Awesome. Yay. Well, great. And I have to say that the, you know, you, we, we don't have, we're just starting to populate templates with this already in it. There will be more over time. So that's why it's good to learn to do it or just, you know, find, you know, use our, use this download with the bonus content as a cheat sheet to grab some templates and then just start editing from those. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, do, if you, you know, use, use the hashtag, if you do make some slideshows and you post them online, uh, use hashtag learn with post my wall and we are going to share the best ones on our social media can't wait to see what you do with this new feature thank you everybody from audrey and myself and we will see you next time